Right, I know I said I was going to try and get the engine working this one, but I've just not had enough time to sort it out. So, coil packs, they're all wired up, apart from the HT leads. Uh, the cooling system is all plumbed in. So, that all works. But the oil is not piped up yet. And I've got haven't even got a fuel tank yet, so I don't even know where that's gonna go. I suspect probably twin tanks in the front here. So the cooling fans they work. That's the cooling fan relays. So a lot of the time has been trying to get the electrics sorted out. I've got a switch box, so we've got water pump, fuel pump, which isn't in. Uh, there are the coil packs. Four is the injector. Five is to switch the fan on. Six is. And two speed fans. Seven doesn't do anything. Eight is the ECU. Uh, this is hopefully going to be the anti roll function, but whether it works or not, I don't know till I try it. Uh, just to clear everything up, what it's going to be, it's going to be a hybrid. So the uh, the engine will work with the motors or they can both work independently. This uh, gear pulley is just temporary, just so as I can drive it if I ever get the motors to work. Uh, I've got bigger motors in at the minute. There's about they're about five horsepower each, but I can't get them to work yet because. Uh, I can't get these things to even connect to the PC, so that's a bit of a stumbling block at the minute. The exhaust has been a right pain. I'm still not sure if I'm happy with it, but the shape of it, I mean. But that'll have to do for now. I'll just see what it sounds like. Obviously it's going to need a bit of heat shielding on top of it to keep the motors cool. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, I got some old electric jacks out of an old sofa. So I can now do this. Which is nice, working underneath. Uh, I think that's all I've done, and I'm going to be elsewhere for the next month, so this will be it for a while. I've finally got a gearbox that I like, which is this, so it's going to have a two speed transfer box. 3 speed engine gears and then I've decided to go for a 2 speed electric input as well so and then that's the limited slip diff which I've shown before uh, I think that's about it for this time That's it. I've anodized the uh, clutch housing, that's about it. Right, so in three months, I guess.
and this is the state of the, the workshop I've got got to work around. <laughs>